Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about the wiring capacitances. What is wiring capacitance? Generally, if you connect a wire, so it will give some capacitance. Similarly, here if you observe, I already explained about uh, uh, what are the different capacitive effects uh, we have. So if you consider, uh, uh, for example, uh, area capacitance, generally we will consider between the gate and substrate. Okay, between the gate and substrate, we will consider the uh, what we call uh, uh, the area capacitance. That is one uh, source of capacitance that will provide it. Okay, here also we have wiring capacitance. For this wiring capacitance, not only that area capacitance, what I have explained, but it is also different. It consists of different sources to provide the wiring capacitance. Uh, we have here the three capacitances we have. We have considered the area capacitance associated with the layers. Uh, layers to the substrate and to the channel. However, there are other significant uh, sources of capacitance which contains overall wiring capacitances. Those are what? Fringing fields capacitances and interlayer capacitance and at the same time the peripheral capacitances. So these three, uh, these three are the capacitive uh, wiring capacitance sources what we have here. Okay, now first I will consider that fringing field capacitances. What is fringing field means here? If you consider a two parallel plate capacitance, okay. So generally the capacitive effect will be takes place uh, uh, in between uh, uh, between these two parallel plates only, okay. But uh, if you consider uh, what is fringing field effect means uh, the the electric field uh, that will at the edges of the parallel plates is there. Electric flux lines is present at the edges of the uh, parallel plates, then that is called as what, uh, that is called as what fringing field. Okay. So what is fringing field means? Generally, if you consider two capacitances, uh, that is two parallel plate capacitances, capacitance. So there will be electric flux lines will be present in between that uh, uh, parallel plates. But here what is happening, that fringing fields means at the edges of the uh, capacitive, capacitive plates, uh, if the electric flux is present, that is called as what uh, the fringing field effect. That's what here we have. Fringing is the bending of electric flux lines nearer the edge of the parallel plate capacitor. Okay. So if you consider this is the parallel plate, so then there will be electric flux at the edges of the edges of the this uh, parallel plates. That that type of effect is called as what fringing field effect uh, or edge effect. So because of this one also there will be a capacitance that will be provided. So that is called as fringing field capacitances. Okay. The capacitance due to the fringing field effect can be a major component of overall capacitances of interconnecting wires. Okay. Capacitance due to the fringing field effects can be a major component of the overall capacitance of interconnect wires. Okay. For line, uh, for fine line metallization, the value of uh, fringing field capacitance can be same as that of area capacitances. Okay, for, for a perfect metallization, so this fringing field capacitance can be is of same as of the order of uh, area capacitance. Okay, so therefore here the total fringing field capacitance or the wiring capacitance includes uh, here area capacitance and fringing field capacitance. Okay, so here we have the equation for fringing field capacitance that is uh, CFF fringing field capacitance is equal to epsilon SiO2 that is uh, silicon dioxide insulating material and epsilon naught L by uh, L multiply with pi by ln. ln is nothing but the natural logarithm 1 plus 2d by t multiply with uh, 1 plus uh, square root of 1 plus t by d minus t by 4d. So what are these terms means here? This is the equation of fringing field capacitance what we have and where i is nothing uh, L is nothing but the wire length and T is nothing but the thickness of the wire and D is the uh, Y to substrate separation. Okay. So these are what uh, uh, the fringing field capacitance uh, terms what we have and what is the total wiring capacitance here due to this fringing field means. So that is nothing but area capacitance plus uh, fringing field capacitance uh, is the total wiring capacitance CW. Okay. So this is one factor what we have. Next, we have interlayer capacitances. Okay. Now, here we have, there will be a parallel plate uh, formation, parallel plate capacitor formation between the gate and substrate. 
in between that we have SiO2 layer. At the same time, if you consider here, uh, I will show that. If you consider here, this is, if I consider this one is the gate. So this one is what uh, SiO2 layer, what we have. And after that, we have what polysilicon, okay? SiO2 layer above that polysilicon. Between polysilicon and metal, we can also use a thin SiO2, okay? So that's why here, if you can, not only this, uh, what we call between the capacitance that is present between the gate and uh, substrate, that is nothing but the gate to channel capacitance. Uh, another uh, amount of capacitance is also there. That is nothing but interlayer capacitances. That interlayer capacitance is nothing. The best example is the capacitance between the polysilicon and gate. So above polysilicon, we are connecting the uh, what we call uh, that is metal. Okay, polysilicon and metal. Between polysilicon and metal, there will be a formation of capacitance. Okay, so that is one example of interlayer capacitance. Like that, we have many. So all those includes the interlayer capacitances. The parallel plate effects are present between one layer and other. It is very uh, uh, clear that uh, uh, the first is gate to channel capacitance. That is the capacitance between gate and uh, channel. And at the same time, uh, what we have between uh, polysilicon and metal also we have the capacitive both are uh, two layers in between those two layers we have uh, again the parallel plate effect okay well, metal is one parallel plate and polysilicon will be another another uh, uh, what we call parallel plate so that forms the uh, capacitive effect the parallel plate effects are present between one layer and another layer for example for a given area uh, metal to polysilicon capacitance must be Metal to polysilicon capacitance must be higher than the metal to substrate. Metal to substrate is nothing but gate to channel capacitance. But here we have metal to polysilicon. So that is uh, higher than the metal to substrate. So here the interlayer capacitances also will include the wiring capacitances. Okay. So this is another type of capacitance for wiring capacitance. Next one is peripheral capacitance. Okay. So here uh, peripheral capacitance is nothing but uh, if you consider uh, we can form different diffusions. Here one diffusion and here one diffusion. If it is a N mass, we'll form here N plus diffusion and N plus diffusion. Okay. Now, uh, uh, what is this peripheral uh, means here? If you consider for diffusion regions means, this one is what, uh, if I consider N mass enhancement transistor. So this one is the P channel or P type material. And this one is N diffusion and in diffusion. This will be called as source and this will be called as what drain. In, because of this uh, here, there will be a formation of one PN junction diode. So this is the P and this one is N. This is the P and N. So because of these diodes, uh, each diode has its own uh, capacitance. Okay. So that will be measured in picofarads. Uh, so because of these diffusions, uh, there will be a formation of uh, uh, diode, PN junction diodes are the PN junctions will form. So they will offer some resist, some capacitance. That capacitance is called as what? Peripheral capacitance. That is one example here. Okay. That is peripheral capacitance. For diffusion regions, each diode thus formed as associated with a, uh, a peripheral capacitance. Uh, it is measured in picofarads per unit length. It is measured in picofarads. That is what here. Each diode that is formed between the substrate and at the same time the diffusions. So that type of capacitances is called as what uh, peripheral capacitance and that will be measured in picofarads. Okay. The smaller the source or drain area, the greater becomes the relative value of the peripheral capacitances. Okay. So here, what is the total wiring capacitance here we have is uh, uh, that is again here in the previous one uh, for uh, uh, this uh, fringing field effect, we have considered the area capacitance. Uh, similarly, peri for peripheral capacitance also, we will consider the area capacitance plus uh, the peripheral capacitance gives the total wiring capacitance. Okay, the total wiring capacitance is nothing but uh, uh, area capacitance plus peripheral capacitance. Okay, so this is about wiring capacitances and what are the sources that will provide this wiring capacitance. First one is the fringing field uh, uh, capacitance and the second one is uh, uh, interlayer uh, capacitance 
and the third one is peripheral capacitances. These three are the capacitances what we have that will provide the wiring capacitance. Okay. So here we have a uh, peripheral capacitance. If you consider the diffusion for 5 micrometer technology. So we already uh, discussed this one that is 1.0 into 10 power minus 4 picofarad per micrometer squared. It is for 2 micrometer and it is for 1.2 micrometers. So, but here peripheral capacitance we will consider only for the 5 micrometer technology or orbit technology that is nothing but 8.0 into 10 power minus 4 picofarad per micrometers. For 2 micrometer and 1 mic 1.2 micrometer, we will neglect the peripheral capacitances. So this is about uh, what we have uh, wiring capacitances. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe our channel.